Hey everyone, this is Nina with Walleye Stamping. Thank you so much for joining me today. Also, I have with me mwah, my sweet little sugar pie. She has her Halloween costume on and she is all ready to go trick-or-treating and get all of her goodies that night. Now, I want to thank you for joining me today and for allowing me to share a project with you. It's a Halloween treat bag that is so easy, quick, and simple to make, and all of your trick-or-treaters are going to love this treat bag. Let me put sugar down and I will share it with you. Hang on, I'll be right back. Here it is. Isn't it adorable? You are going to love putting this treat bag together and your trick-or-treaters are going to love receiving it on Halloween night. So, let's get started. All right, so here is my treat bag, and as you can see, I've got a fun size Hershey, some Starburst, and some Lifesavers gummies in mine. Now, these bags come 10 to a pack. They're called glassine bags, and they are four and three quarters by six inches tall. They are a really great size for putting as much or as little candy in there as you would like to. And you know, the the texture of this feels like it is probably coated kind of like waxed paper. That's what it reminds me of. So I would even say that if you made some homemade goodies like some cookies or something like that, it would probably be fine to put in here because it does have a waxy feel to it. So slide this over a little bit. Now, as you can notice on these bags, they're cut a little bit shorter in the front and a little bit longer in the back. So what I do with mine is I fold it over just about an inch. And that's all you have to do with that for now. The next thing that we're going to do is bring in all of the pieces of paper that we are going to need for this project. These two pieces are for the topper and these three pieces are going to be for the tags. Um, these two are the Halloween night cardstock pack, basic black and pumpkin pie. The basic black is cut at four and three quarters by three and a half, and we're going to score it at one and three fourths. The um, pumpkin pie cardstock, which is this part of the tag, is cut at one and three fourths inches wide by two and a quarter inches tall. Now for all of our um, Halloween night specialty DSP, this is also a part of the topper. It is cut at four and three quarters by three and one half. These two pieces make up this portion of the tag. This is cut at four by two and three and a half by two. And if you'll notice, I have these cut kind of like a ribbon at the end, and I'll show you how I achieve that when we get to this portion of the tutorial. So let me move some of these things out of the way and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my cutting and scoring tool and the basic black cardstock I'm going to score at one and three fourths inches. And the DSP, I'm scoring at one and one half inch. So I'm going to fold each of these in half, give it a little burnish with my bone folder, and open this up. Oops, okay, here we go. I'm going to add some snail there there and there. Just kind of cover the whole surface. Then I like to give it a little pinch and fold it kind of like an L shape so I can see what's going on. Then this folded edge I'm going to try to get butted up against that as closely as possible and then match up the sides as closely as possible. So let's see how good I do. Push that down, fold that over, topper made, and yeah, I was off just slightly. It's all right though. I can come in with my scissors and just trim that little bit of black away. No big deal. So what we're gonna do now is stick this to the top of our bag. Put adhesive on the back side there. Take the bag, let the flap that I folded be facing me, line up the top of that fold with the fold in your topper paper, 
and it's stuck. Then instead of putting um, adhesive here, I'm going to put it on the top of the bag so that I don't put it too far up on the end and then fold it over and end up sticking my bag together before I'm ready for it to be stuck together. So do you see what I mean? If I would have put the adhesive here when I closed my bag, it would have stuck it shut. So that's the reason that I do it that way. Now, let's bring in my pieces for the tag. And I'm going to sit this here because I may be referencing it as we go. All right, the first piece is four by two. Now this ruler, I don't even remember where I picked it up. I've had it for a really long time, but I like it because it has this zero point in the middle, which allows me to center it and be able to get this mark here so I can cut it out properly. Now you do not have to do this, and I know that probably most people do not have a ruler like this. It's just my personality to want to get it right in the center, but if you are confident with just eyeballing it, do it that way. So what I've done is, this is the one inch mark on the bottom, or on the center of this ruler. I've lined that mark up with the bottom of my piece of paper. In order to get it in the center, I've lined each edge up with the one inch mark on my ruler. Then I just put a dot there on the zero. Now I know that I'm centered. Take my scissors, start at that corner point, cut up to that ink dot, turn it to the other side, and do the same thing. That's what we do with all three of these pieces. This one is identical. I'm gonna line it up with the one inch mark on the bottom of the paper and the one inch mark on either side, put a dot. Now I know that y'all cannot see the dot on this black piece of paper, but I can see it just fine. Cut from corner to dot, same on this side. Now this third little piece, this tag, it's cut a little bit different size, so the measurements are not exactly the same, but they're still simple. I'm going to measure down to the three quarters inch mark on my ruler, which is this third orange line. And then to center it, I'm going to mark it, or line it up rather, at the 7 8 inch on either side. Put a dot and cut it. So really, this doesn't take a long time to do this part of it. But again, as I said, if you don't want to do it this way and you just want to eyeball it, that's fine with me. It's not going to hurt my feelings a bit. So I'm going to bring in my corner rounder and I'm going to round off the corners on each of my tags and likewise this is personal preference if you decide you want your tags to have the squared off corners then that's fine too it is your treat bag you do what you want to do with it so now let's put some adhesive on the back of this piece and the way that I stick these together is I just turn this piece at an angle Try to line this corner up sort of in the center of the bottom one and then just stick it down at an angle like that. Now before I stick this one on there, I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of paper. You can tell I've been doing some inking. And what I used here is the Spooky Fun stamp set. I'm using the um, spider, the spider web, and the trick or treat. I'm using my black stamp pad and my acrylic block. And I do have a special way of getting this stamped on here. Since it's three different stamps, you would think that maybe you've got to stamp each one individually, but no. Let me show you my little trick. And I hope that this will be beneficial for everybody. Um, it sure is for me. So I'm laying my pieces down where I want them to end up when I stamp. Put my spider there. Oopsie, it stuck to my finger. And then bring in my trick or treat. Now the word or, I want it centered in that point right there. I'm gonna have to move that up just a little bit. He's too far down. So, now that's where I want everything to be. So I'm going to bring in my acrylic block, push it down, everything sticks to it. So, now all I've got to do is ink up the stamp and stamp it down and I know that my image is going to be 
where I laid it out to begin with. Line up the word or right there above that point. Press down. Hold it for just a second. There it is. So I hope that that tip will help you guys. Um, if you ever want to stamp something and use more than one stamp at a time and get your image the way you want it, maybe that'll be helpful for you. All right, I'm going to put some snail on the back of this piece, then stick it down the opposite of the first piece. Okay, so see what I'm doing there? I've just got the black piece coming in at this angle and the pumpkin pie cardstock coming in at this angle. So now what I'm going to do is bring in a little bit of the Halloween Night Baker's Twine, cut eight or ten inches or so, and two strips, one of the pumpkin pie and black, and then the basic gray and black. I'm using one strand of each. I'm going to tie that into a bow. Wait a minute. That was not going to look good. Uh, maybe I've had too much coffee this morning. Yeah, I have been up since like 6 o'clock. I woke up before the chickens even decided to get up. Had so much to do today. Wanted to get this videotaped. My daughter's boyfriend's birthday is today, so I baked a cake and made a cheesecake for him. And I was so excited about showing y'all this treat bag that now I'm filming it. And I've been up for, I don't know, two and a half hours. So what I'm done now is I've taken my bow, I've added a glue dot to it, and then I'm just going to stick that down right in the center of where all of those meet. Let me move some of this out of the way in case it's visually disturbing to you. Um, this is going to go here. Put some adhesive on the back and center it up. And there you go, your bag is done. Now, let's put some candy in here. After all, we've got trick-or-treaters coming pretty soon, so we have to get this candy stuffed in these bags. And so do you see now why I put the glue on the back of the bag instead of here? I still have the availability to get into the bag and put my candy in there. So I've got a couple chocolates, some Smarties, which is one of my all-time all favorite candies, and I've got a Tootsie Pop in there. So, to close it, I'm just going to put a couple strips of adhesive right there in the middle, bend it over, and it is done. So see, there is two bags, and now it looks like it took a little while to get this bag together, but that's because I was talking so much. But if you're at home and you're making a slew of these bags for your trick-or-treaters, especially if you go in and you cut all of your cardstock and all of your DSP at the same time, just one after the other, like an assembly line, it'll literally take you about three minutes to put each of these bags together. So this is a very quick and easy bag to put together for all of your little trick-or-treaters this year. And I hope that my stamping trick has been beneficial for you. And um, if you would like to leave a comment, please do. If you have any videos you would like to see me do in the future, please let me know what that might be. Um, you can get a hold of me at stamping at gmail.com, as well as on Facebook at Stamping. My website is under construction and will be up very soon. And once that's up and going, I will give you all a link to it and you will find tons and tons of tutorials because I'm going to be making all kinds of stuff like a mad woman in the near future. So I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you very soon.